Welcome everyone to my World of Tanks video. Now check this out. We're going to do the test for the first win of the day. Times four commander bonus. Because I wanted to record the current contract total, which is one four one one seven five. And see if we can get a boost on this guy. I don't know if the if the first win of the day double boost would combine in any way with this four times commander experience boost. And if that oh I mean I know that will combine for the commander in the tank but I don't know if it transfers to the contract experience but we're gonna find out today so let me get going here and while it'll be several minutes for me it'll be only seconds for you be back in a second or two okay well we came back unsuccessfully but my daily battle this is the holdover from the Kampfpanzer 50T tank so for those people who have yet to complete the 40 days it continues for the rest of us and for me two enhanced rations which is pretty awesome because I use those in a lot of different tanks because those are 10% bonus experience so you put those on the tanks that have your 30% commanders jackpot That's, I'm just telling you it's just jackpot so let's see now what happened number wise contract and the answer is garbage because it was it was one four one one seven five and now it is one four one nine five one hooray thanks a lot so my team absolutely stunk I did very well but the double bonus and then the quad of the double only happens when you win. Now, I still got the quad, which wasn't bad. But, you know, 69.27 is like, you know, I didn't get very much experience because we lost. I mean, you know, number three on the team, but that was only, what, 517? Well, whoopity do. So, my team stunk. That's just the, the way it was. They had rolled up guys close to our base. I'm telling people, both in the game and on the microphone, to get back, defend the base. And so, we had a, a numerical superiority that could have crushed those four guys easily. We beat them down. But they took more damage and lost a couple of guys than we should have. We could have had a slaughter fest. They got greedy. They came in and my guys were stupid. So you can be greedy if the other team is stupid because stupid rules this game. And that is the lesson in case you didn't know that stupidity is the trump factor in this game. They think that they know stuff that they don't. They don't pay attention. They're just stupid. And stupid gets you losses. I say it every game. You have five to ten idiots on your team. Five or six or seven you can get by. But you can't have more than that. You've got to have good players making good plays. And people who just ignore base defense what other word would you use for them than idiot or some synonym? I don't know, whatever. 
So that means back to the drawing board. I have to use another of my limited resources four times Commander Booster. I don't think it's going to cash in. But yeah, on a win, it might it might be a special case. But it's worth a shot, right? So, you see the drill? Again, it'll be minutes for me, but only seconds for you. Well, sadly to report, my team was even worse this time. I was the one of the last three to die, and all of us were the three highest scoring on the team. So that was garbage. So now I got to go and uh, do that again. Unbelievable. Yes. Wait a second. Why in the heck? Oh, I accidentally clicked on times five tank booster. I don't need that because this guy's already upgraded fully. Elite status, you know. So, oh well. You know, back to the old drawing board, as they say. So, well, well you know. Again, it'll be minutes for me, but only seconds for you. Morons on top of morons is what I had. I had a, an idea which would have worked, but the guy who could have come and helped me capture the base decided to be a superstar. He was going to kill the guy when our other idiots were dying by the bushel. So he got killed, and then I was the final one to get killed. But I had their base to, down to 20 seconds just by myself. If that fool shows up with me, we probably win. But no, they're superstars. I don't know. These guys, these guys, you know, I don't know where they go to learn anything. Because they didn't go to a school that had anyone who could teach anything. I can tell you that. It's unbelievable. You give them the information that you're going to go capture the base. You're capturing the base. The only guy. I mean, it's right on the screen. It's a real mystery to me. But these morons have cost me three times four commander bonus to be squandered because they're absolute morons. I'm just saying... The reality is the reality. There's no sugarcoating it. You get five to ten idiots on your team every game. Every game. Now, a couple of times, you know, I've been on teams where it's been 15 to 0. Okay? That's the exception. The other team had all the idiots. Oh, whatever. So I got one more bonus left, if you can believe this garbage. And those things are too expensive to buy. I don't pay gold for those. Those are very expensive. So, well, you know the story. Minutes for me, but seconds for you. I'll be back. Success. Man, took four games to get the first victory. Unbelievable. And the experience wasn't that great. I mean, it was pretty good. 14,000. But, I mean, come on, dude. It was on a bad map for light tanks. Monheim. Not the best in the world. Depending on where people decide to fight. So, you take, you know, you take your chances... You help your team. Sometimes the numbers are better than others. Oh well, what are you going to do? Do what you can. I mean, 14000 overall for uh, perk development. Can't complain. 
Well, you know, you take your chances, man. Now I'm out of I'm out of uh, times four commander boosters. Look at these dudes. Their dudes are super expensive. How much does this dude go for? These guys are 103 gold. No thanks. <laughs> Don't spend 103 gold to get quad times bo a booster um, on commander experience. So when you get those, use them wisely as I did. But when your team is garbage, three of them were thrown away, literally. And then I didn't have a great game because I was on a map that wasn't good for, like, tanks, scoring-wise, okay? I was able to help and, you know, provide more assistance than the numbers would say. You know, light tanks are a heavy distraction. So you can help guys get kills that you really don't get much points for in that regard. So anytime I win is fine. You know, I'm not worried about scoring for myself. I play to help the team, okay? If helping the team makes me MVP, so be it. If it makes me bottom of the barrel, but I helped, so be it. I'm there to help the team. So I'm not worried about that. I'll get plenty of MVPs. Just it's better if you can time those with that first victory you know, a good result with the first victory and a times four gives you times eight bonus. I had great games in the other ones where we lost. So it's better to win, you know, with a mediocre performance or below average performance than it is to play great and lose. I don't need the uh, accolades. You know, I'm just ready. I'm, I'm ready to help the, the team win. That's all. So that was the main point of this one. And now I don't have any more commander boosters and I don't buy those. So they come from cards or ops. I cannot do the Romanian tank op because I'm not going through two check tanks that you know one of them is absolute garbage to buy i'm not going to buy two check tanks and then a romanian tank that's about oh i don't know 12 million that's about 12 million i don't have 12 million on me and i'm not going to work to get it it's ridiculous because i don't play medium tanks i don't care so that romanian tank op that you get you know, 75 kills, you get 10, four times boosters. And that was the last of the boosters that I got from the check tank op last week, which was fine. That was a pain in the butt. And that was just one. Um, that was, you know, I used the first, the first check tank, the free one. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not going down that. I don't care. Now, I don't collect these tanks in this game. They mean nothing to me. I play what I like to play. That's all. I'd like to have that Scorpion 90, but I got to do way too much to get it. And I don't like playing those kind of tanks, so eh, whatever. I'm good with this. So, hopefully uh, you got some, you know, out of there. Oh, I know. I was going to do one more thing. Let's look at this contract. I don't think the numbers really... Like I said, I don't think they'd really transfer over. Not really. So that's kind of bogus. Let me take a look again. Upon further review, most of my games were about winning games or about 1,600 experience. That one with the win and a quad bonus was like about 2,500. So it seemed to have made some difference. Yeah, gee, thanks. Not like it would really matter if, if those were all wins. But I would have stopped. 
um, after the first one because the commander bonus get a win now it's string theory you could continue with the string theory op if you get your commander bonus on your first win which is double your regular experience and then add a times four or, or whatever booster you have you could do that and then you could continue using boosters because the string theory allows your two times to go work it way work its way up to three times bonus and four times so as long as you're winning you can run the uh, commander booster run it as long as you're winning because if you get to the string theory medal it's 400 percent or 500 percent times four i mean i was like yeah i was like i, I thought about that yesterday when i was in the string theory I didn't pay attention until after it occurred. I was like, man, I should have tried. I should have tried doing that, but I didn't realize that I had gotten there anyway. I wasn't paying attention. I'm just playing the game to win. And I wasn't paying attention that I had four bonuses that I could have tried that out and see if you could get a 500% strength theory bonus with a quad booster would make it 20 times bonus. That would have been insane. Uh, hey, can't think of all this stuff all the time so or I can it just it doesn't you know you can't uh, you can't schedule these revelations they happen when they happen just like it occurred to me to wait on the cards until Tuesday for a chance at Halloween tanks um you know the odds are 90% that you don't get it, but hey, it's 10% that you do, and you know that's worth looking for. So, hopefully, this was of some help. Wasn't that helpful to me, but we learned something, I guess, that you do get more. Some of that quad bonus comes through on the op of the contract. So, hopefully, that helps you in some way. Thanks for stopping by. I'm glad uh, to help if I can. I'll see you guys in the next one.